Hi, welcome back to the Pilates Fix. I'm Kristen Matthews, and this is day 14 of the Holiday Fix Challenge. Today, we are gonna do a stretching video. So stretches for the hips. Um, you know, just like your upper body being rounded over too much, your hips get really tight from sitting too much at desks, or driving in cars. I'm sure you've heard that sitting is the new smoking. So we really need to counteract all that tightness with, with some stretches. So I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite stretches because I definitely have tight hips um, in today's workout. So let's begin. So let's start with a standing stretch and the rest of the stretches will be either lying down or some um, low lunges and stuff. So we'll start with your legs just evenly placed underneath you. Cross your left ankle over the right ankle. Stand really tall, evenly on both your feet. And you're just gonna start to round your spine down. You can soften those knees a little bit if you're really super tight. You're just gonna go down as low as you can. This is a nice stretch for the outer hip of the leg that's crossed over. And it's a stretch for the other hip as well. Just gonna hold here. Let your head just relax. Take a deep inhale. When you start to round up, use your, use your abs. Knees are gonna be softened. Exhale and round yourself back up. This is more the outer hip. We're gonna do a lot that get the front hip also. And we'll switch legs. So evenly get your weight placed over, um, over your feet and cross the right ankle over the left. Standing really tall and then just rounding down, softening the knees if you need to, keeping the weight centered over um, your feet, especially the one that you're really, the one that's crossed over. And just let your head be heavy. Just feeling that stretch. You'll probably feel a stretch if you're really tight in your legs, behind your legs also. Breathing here. And then just softening those knees. Use the abs. And round yourself back up. And uncross your ankle. So make your way down onto your hands and knees. You start with the hands in line with your shoulders and your knees in line with your hips. And you'll take your right foot and bring it between your hands. And keeping your hands down, you can either place your whole hand on or go on the tips of the fingers. You're just gonna start by shifting your weight forward to get a stretch in that left front of your thigh. Shoulders back, you can lift your heart. The more length you get, the more of a stretch you'll feel. And if you're super flexible, this isn't gonna be a major stretch for you, but we will do a little bit deeper ones in a few minutes. Um, if you're really tight, this is gonna be a pretty pretty intense stretch. So you just wanna hold this for a few breaths. We'll just stay here for a few more seconds and then work that leg. And then shift your weight back. Now you're gonna take your hands on top of your knee if you can. If you need to balance and you're near a couch, you can always hold on to that or if you have friends sitting near you, have them help you. And then you'll go forward a little bit here with your torso lifted. So it's really important to find that length going forward. When you lean forward, make sure it's not from your pelvis sinking, but it's from your whole, kind of your whole weight staying long and leaning forward. So that you'll actually go not as far. And I'm, I'm pretty tight in the hips, as I said. So I don't have huge range, more than some, but not, not crazy. And if you do want a deeper stretch, so if you're pretty flexible and you want a deeper stretch and you're comfortable with the balance, you can lift that back knee up and then reach behind with that left, sorry, back foot up, reach behind with your left hand, start to pull it towards the outside, that left foot, left hip. And then I'm gonna not really look around <laughs> because I need to balance here. So just, you still wanna stay lifted. So you can use this hand to press up, that right hand on that right knee to lift up, so that you're not sinking. You need energy here. So even when you're stretching, you've got to work. I'm sweating. You're working. Now carefully lower that foot if you have it, and then place your hands down. Now curl your back toes under and lift that left knee. If you can't lift it, then you're just gonna keep that knee down. And I apologize if you hear, they're doing some construction, unfortunately, next to me. So there's been a saw going on and off <laughs> since I started this challenge. Some days I luck out and there's nothing. So you're holding this stretch. Now for a deeper stretch, you're gonna walk your right foot out to the right side of the mat. The right hand goes to the inside of that right foot and you work that length here. 
Now, if you want an even deeper stretch still, you're gonna go down onto your forearms, still working that length. So this is pretty intense. Holding it there, I'll stay here, but man, this is a deep one for me, for sure. One more deep breath. Exhale, let's work your way back up. You're gonna work that right hand back to the outside of that right foot. Lower that left knee down and bring your right knee back. So now you're back in um, that four point pose here. Let's bring your left foot forward between those hands. We'll start with the staying down here. You're just gonna hand stay down and then the back. And you're just gonna lean forward for that low stretch here, lengthening through the spine. And then you can shift back. Take your hands onto that left knee to find that lift through your spine first. And then you're gonna shift that weight forward. So again, you're pushing into the hand, into the knee, into that left knee to help you lift. As you shift forward, so you're not just hanging in your low back, you're lengthening and stretching. So stretches are really active. You're not just hanging out in a stretch most of the time. At least when I do stretches with my clients, I don't want them just hang out. <laughs> and breathing. And if you want that deeper stretch still, you pop up that right foot, you reach back with the right hand, you pull that foot towards the outside of the right hip again, lifting to feel that stretch. So you can certainly lean forward and lift at the same time. For me, I'm, I'm feeling this pretty intensely in my quad actually, but you'll feel your hips also. And breathe in, and exhale. Lowering that foot down, place your hands down on the mat. Curl your right toes under and pop that right knee up. You wanna have that left knee right on over your ankle. Find that length here. You can always keep that knee down if this is too much of a stretch, because this can be intense, I know. And then you're gonna walk the left hand to the inside of the left foot as you walk that left foot out to the side of the mat and keep the arm and leg pretty close. Find that length in your spine again. Push that back leg up if it's up. You don't want it hanging out. You want it active, actively pressing. And if you want that deeper stretch, you go down onto your forearms, working that length even still. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale. Another deep breath in. And then on the exhale, I want you to work your way up onto your hands. Work that foot back to the inside that left foot. Lower that right knee down, and then bring the left foot to join it. And just sit back onto your heels for a breath. For child's pose, taking a deep inhale. And exhale the air out. Okay, so round your spine up and work your way onto your back for the figure four stretch, which is a stretch I do with all my clients all the time. It's great for the hips. Everyone can benefit from it. There's a couple variations if you're more flexible, so I will go through all of them for you. So you'll start on your back with your leg, your feet down, your knees bent, and you'll just cross. We'll start with the left foot over the right knee. You wanna flex that right, that left foot, excuse me. It just helps protect we, done the, we did this stretch in another video a little early on the challenge, but um, for anyone who hasn't maybe seen that this, all those videos, you flex your foot, it helps protect the joints and the muscles and stuff. Gets everything engaged. Then you're gonna grab behind your right leg and pull the knee in towards your chest. You wanna keep the pelvis down, neck and shoulders relaxed. If you find you're so tight and you're kind of lifting off the mat, you can take a pillow, and place it under your head. It'll help get everything a little longer. And you're just gonna hold here for a few breaths. If this isn't enough of a stretch, which it definitely won't be for some people, another option is to take your hands to the front of the shin. You still wanna keep your pelvis down though. So press the pelvis down, neck and shoulders relax. And if that still isn't enough, the third option, at least for this variation, is to cross your knee over your knee and then grab one ankle with each hand and just pulling those legs out a little bit. So that's a deeper stress than the other ones if you want if you want that. I'm gonna go back to the first one with my foot flex and grabbing behind the thigh. It's 
making sure that my pelvis is down and my neck and shoulders are nice and relaxed. And just breathe through, breathe while you're holding this. And it's important to hold stretches longer than just a few seconds. You need to get the oxygen flowing through the body, into the blood, the blood flowing through your body. Take another deep breath in, finish in a few seconds. Exhale that air out. And then lower the foot down and uncross, go to your other side. So pick whichever variation works for you. Remembering in all of them to keep the pelvis down, the neck and shoulders relaxed. You can also use your elbow, I just remember, I do this sometimes, and push into that knee. Open your hip a little bit more if you need that. Holding that position, breathing. Imagine you're breathing into your tightness. That's, that's what I like to do. I feel like I'm just opening all of those muscles out, breaking up any tightness. Taking the last deep breath in. Exhale that air out. And then place the foot down and uncross the ankle. And then hug your knees into your chest and either go onto your side to get up or rock up to a seated position and extend your legs out nice and long, sitting up nice and tall. You'll take your right knee and bring it, bend it and bring that leg in towards you. You can either keep the foot here or you can cross the foot over the left leg. Depends on your flexibility and what feels more comfortable for you. You'll take your right hand to the back and the left arm can either stay wrapping around the leg or you can bring the arm around to the opposite side of the leg. You're gonna push into that left, that right hand to lengthen your spine. Length is the most important thing here. And then you can press into the leg or wrap your arm around and give yourself a stretch. So you're gonna stretch the outside of that right hip You'll also get a nice twist in your spine, which is great. So take a deep inhale, work that length up, and then you can twist on the exhale. One more deep breath, press in, work up long, press into the mat, exhale to twist, and work your way back to the center. Uncross the foot, extend that leg, bring the left knee in, keep it down right on the inside of the right leg, or bring it to the outside of that right leg. Your left hand goes behind. The right arm, whichever variation works for you, goes around the left leg or elbow into the leg. Push into that arm on the inhale. On the exhale, push into the, excuse me, the floor. On the exhale, push the arm into the leg to twist. Now remember, leg first and then twist. This is a nice stretch. This is something I do in yoga, my yoga classes often. Inhale, I think it's a favorite of my teachers. And exhale. Just feels good. Feels good. And then come back to the center and uncross your leg. Now you're going to cross your legs. Put one foot in front of the other, one leg in front of the other. I've been around kids so much in the last, I don't know, like 15 years of my life. And with nieces and nephews and friends with kids. And they, um, all of them say crisscross applesauce now. So we're going to crisscross applesauce. And you'll walk your hands out in front of you. If this is really hard for you and you're so tight in your back of your hips, prop yourself up onto a pillow or a couch cushion or something or a bolster. It'll help a little. And then you can fold forward. Just do one last little stretch. Breathing here in, breathing into any tightness. And exhale. Again, deep inhale. And exhale. And walk yourself up, lengthening through. In all these movements, switch your legs. And we always go to the comfortable side, the one we're most used to. So this will feel a little more awkward. Certainly does for me, but still a good stretch. Take a deep breath here. Work that length and exhale. Again, deep breath, one last breath in. And exhale. And walk your hands back as you sit up nice and tall. And you finish day 14, great job. Isn't it so nice to add a little stretching into the workouts? I thought it would be a nice change, especially since we're really, we're actually more than halfway done now with the challenge, but we've been doing a lot of ab and full body work, so I thought this would be a nice change. Stretching is so important, it's just as important as exercising is to our bodies. And you know, I always am adding stretches, extra stretches in to my clients' workouts. Pilates is great because it's got the built-in stretching, but these intense kind of longer hold stretches are really important. So thank you so much for being involved. 
Tomorrow for day 15, we'll be doing a Pilates Ab Express. So back to a little bit more of the hardcore workout. And thanks again for being involved. I've been having so much fun, really enjoying this challenge. It's keeping me moving during this crazy time, which is why I'm partly why I'm doing this, to also to help you move. And keep sharing, keep commenting. I'm loving the feedback. And remember to subscribe because when the challenge is over, we'll still be, we still will be putting videos up. So you want to be kept up to date with all those. Okay, have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 15. Bye.